This weekend, we have two great events. We're kicking it off Saturday at 1 with Christine Baylock. We always have things going on down here on the weekends, and this weekend is packed full of stuff. We have something very special here this Saturday, something we actually have not done before. We have had comic book releases. We have had special guests. You all know Christine from Free Comic Book Day and Creative Women Minicon. We are doing this weekend a lecture on, although lecture seems too formal. It does seem way too formal. I don't like that word. We're not going to use yeah. the word lecture. We are doing a presentation, uh, a, a uh, interactive presentation about Caravaggio, her book, and the man's life. Um, so, well, first off, for people who don't know you, tell us a little bit about your love for this man. Oh, boy. My love or my obsession, first off. I like the word passion. Passion. Passion yes. is good. Yeah, so I was introduced to Caravaggio in undergrad, and um, I was actually a painting major, and finding this artist made me switch my course entirely and go for a master's in art history. I was blown away by the things I was reading. It was very accusatory, classifying him as a murderer and this violent, irascible character, and I just... The way he paints with such religious mm -hmm. ferocity, there was no way that he could be as violent as they were saying he was. So when I started reading about him, I really realized that scholarship had screwed up a lot of stuff. So I dedicated my entire life academically to him and chasing him around the world. I mean, we're talking Italy, we're you, talking Malta. You've, you've we're gone to these places, archives. you've looked into things. Um, yes. And not only your academic life and your travel life, but your creative life. Oh, yes. has been predominantly dominated by this man. <laughs> yes. Because you guys, uh, you've seen her stuff on the wall, whether you know it or not. She's had it up there during the Creative Women Minicon month. Um, we've actually had you up as an artist uh, for the month. But there's a lot of stuff up there. you got superhero influences. you got Always. some Robert Downey Jr. Always. Um, Legos. So there's a little bit of everything. But at the core, it always seems to come back it to does. Caravaggio. Because you actually have comic books available. I do. Yeah, it's uh, Caravaggio's Darkness. Um, I have issue one through six right now. And big surprise, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but for Creative Women Minicon this year, I'm actually going to have the first installment of the graphic novel available in hardcover and paperback. So for anybody who hasn't picked it up, for those of you who picked up a few issues, come and get the rest of them. But if you haven't picked it up, this is the great time to do it. A trade, you have everything in one spot. Yep. You don't have to worry about uh, missing an issue uh, for Creative Women Minicon, uh, first announcement we've uh, given out with special stuff. So that's great. Um, but you, she's also got, you got coloring books I do dedicated have coloring to this man. Books, yeah. Um, and that's not all she has. You've also got a couple other comics that are in the works. I do. So yeah. um, we might have more info on that for Creative Women, uh, which is coming up October 21st. But what we're really here to talk about this Saturday is this guy. Yes. And this Caravaggio of Oil and Blood is your first... It is. It's book one. Novel. Yes. And it's first novel. That's fun to say. Uh, first novel that you have done, and it's only book one. There's going to be two, correct? There's going to be two directly involving Caravaggio as the main character, okay. but then there's three more. Wow. So it's a pentology. And what it is is book one and two are Caravaggio's life because it's 1571 to a date that I will not reveal right now. Um, it was way too long to get into one book, so I have two books. So book one is the first half of his life, and book two is the second half of his life. And then book three is going to be on Costanza Colonna. She was a huge character in his life. Book four is Fabrizio Colonna, who you will get introduced to on the first page of this book. And then book five is going to be a Lofte Winnicourt, who was the Grandmaster of the Knights of Malta. And Caravaggio became a Knight of Malta. It's okay, so the cross on the cover. So the two, the two books, the two main ones will be about his life. The three others will be people who were very important to his life, which yes. will, will of course get more Caravaggio. Yes, and uh, I imagine just their perspective on things. That's and... exactly what it is, and it's going to fill in a lot of gaps when you see things going on with Caravaggio. Here, there's things that are going on in the background that you're going to get the full story from there. So, so it, it wasn't just him when you got when you got sucked in. Full, uh, full bore, you went and looked at everything, I everybody. Did. I did. Because it didn't make sense. There was a lot, I mean, and I hate to throw the term conspiracy around loosely, but it's legitimately a huge conspiracy. So then, okay, with that in mind, considering a lot of the stuff that you've researched, a lot of the stuff you've read and looked up, say one thing, what this, we wouldn't call this, what would we call this book? Because it, it's, <laughs> is it historical? Is it a, um, your 
theories on Caravaggio? What what is it? So that is the million dollar question because it is rooted in nonfiction. So I do have police records and court cases and things like that from archival records that I've published and footnoted in here. Mm -hmm. But it's a novel of his life presented in the way where there's a lot of missing pieces in his life. And if you go back and go into the archives, it's like putting those pieces to a puzzle back together. So I can't validate the theories that I'm proposing in these books because there's no documentation that survives about it. So I can't call it straight nonfiction. Mm -hmm. But from an academic standpoint, they're absolutely plausible theories that I'm putting forth saying, hey, listen, this is what makes the most sense of what happened to him. And, and that's what we're going to get into on Saturday. So even if you if you know Caravaggio, it's worth it to come down and talk because, as we said, it's going to be very informal. Yeah. It's going to be uh, real relaxing. It's We've got all the couches. Out. Yes, so you can ask questions. We can talk during this. Um, obviously, you will be uh, discussing what is in Volume 1, but we will not be going into what is in Volume 2. We'll save so, that. So, well, here's the thing. I am going to cover his life. Okay. as it stands on record. Gotcha. So I will be discussing a lot of things that are in this book um, between his paintings and where he was moving, um, you know, Milan and Rome and Syracuse and all of those places. I will be discussing that, but I won't be discussing it on the level that it is in my book. Okay, that's that perfect. Sense. And guys, this is not a day where you have to come down and purchase the book. If you just want to come down, hang out with us, uh, talk to Christine, interact, see what's going on, you're more than welcome. If you want to purchase the book, it will be for sale, so feel free to, but do not feel that you have to purchase the book. We want you to come down, hang out with us, and have a good time. And you told me something just this morning that there's something special for everybody who shows up. Yes. And what would that be? Um, when you come down and listen to this lecture, when you walk in the door, I'm going to be handing out little raffle tickets. And what that raffle ticket is going to do for you is enter you into a drawing to win all of the back issues of Caravaggio's Darkness signed and a signed free first edition copy of my novel and nobody else in the world will be able to get their hands on this it's totally free and I'm actually going to draw the winner at the end of the lecture so nobody has to go home wondering whether or not they're going to win so I'm actually going to be doing an exclusive poster only for people who come to this lecture and it's going to be signed and it's going to be numbered and you will never be able to get it anywhere else and it's completely free and it's completely free guys it's my gift that... to you for coming down and letting me talk about Caravaggio and my love for him and why I love him that's so much how much she loves it she's painting. rewarding you I for am. coming down and just hanging out for I a am of right. So, guys, it's this Saturday, August fifth, and I can't believe it's August. August fifth uh, at one p.m. Yes. So yes. come on down. Um, again, we've got the lounge. If you're new to Empires, it's going to be a really relaxed environment. There's couches, there's tables. Feel free to bring food, bring drink, um, and just make yourself at home. One p.m. August fifth. We will see you down there, and uh, thank you for coming down. Thank you so much. See you on Saturday.